Okay, I will work now on, on a new entity called likes. So, next generate ammo for module. So, I will call it like the like module. Uh, you will see it under the source in a folder, but I need to hit this refresh. Here it is. So, here I will create like entity dot javascript and sorry and here i will have i will import uh, from type rm the entity sorry the entity the column the primary generated column many to one relation decorator uh, and join column we don't need join join column in many to one relations but it's just to rename the foreign key okay so let's export class called like entity and should extends the generic entity yes and add the decorator entity pass it an object the name will be the polar so likes okay so each like will contain a type well i will i will create an enum we don't like putting zero which means ang uh, love or anything so yeah, i don't like adding numbers putting numbers to represent these things uh, so happy will be equal to happy sad be equal to sad angry will be equal to angry and like will be equal to like love will be equal to love so i will just store the type of the uh, like the user did uh, and i will leave uh, the image handling for uh, what what image what icon should represent these for the imagination for the front end developer <laughs> so number but we will have uh, a file upload here and image so each comment will have image image or images uh, each each post will have an image the user have a profile image for example but yeah I'm just saying uh, why I'm I'm just explaining why I don't have uh, why I'm not storing images or at least reference to image inside the, the local system so another column would be I will, another column I would pass to it an enum which will be the type and the type will be enum and the default would be type So and to be called type string. Now the first relation is many many to one okay so the first argument will return the user entity the second one so a callback function user entity of type user of type user entity where is in which we don't have the user dot likes so you man you 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 might want to use this as a, a feed 
like showing a feed for a specific user. I said that before, but yeah. So I will go to the boss. I'll just copy something. So copy this line, the cascade line. Put it here. And let me add a user of type user entity. Now when I hit save, it should reformat. Yes. So another thing would be I will just copy it from another relation. I will copy it from the comments entity. It's the for the post. The, the, as same as this one. But I'll change it a little bit. A little bit. So many instances of the like will belong to one post. So let's just include the post entity. I'm just I just typed the uh, pressed not type pressed control enter and the VS code suggested to import it. It imported it here at the top. Um, yeah, and I forgot to use the join column to rename the foreign keys. So here if after the I need to one so join column uh, name it was an underscore ID and the same thing for the posts so but post ID uh, did I put did I put this in the comment no let me just check one second so the comment has, yeah, <laughs> I actually clicked on it. So post ID like this, uh, a camel case, I don't, I don't like it uh, like this. So let me just change it. So I'll add it here. So we have the synchronized option enabled, so this will be, this will be updated. Okay, let's switch to the like entity. Okay, we have the post, which difference by post ID. And here, post dot. So how, this is how we get the likes for each post, and this is how we get the likes for each user. So now, uh, obviously, we need to add these two properties inside each entity. So let's start by the user entity. If you if you type if you press Control P and type here the file name, it, VS Code will open it. Okay, so it will be exactly like this one, the one too many. So one user has many likes, and but we need, of course, to change the names. A quick thing is to highlight the first one, Control D, two times, and now, like, entity. Yes, and I will change this to like. So. like dot um, user uh, I'm, I'm sorry I think I think you notice this but uh, comment so when I reference so to get each uh, each user for each user for each comment we don't access the post we ask user <laughs> this is a serial uh, we we might catch some of them in the future when we write the code to pull and uh, store the data. But anyway, just continue. So now likes. Likes will be an array of like entity. And to access each user for each like, we, we type like to you, like to user, which will get us the user. And we need to do the same thing. This is why I hate copy copying and pasting because it makes us do this kind of errors like I did here. Hopefully, it's the only place. So I will make sure I will be careful. So now, when I go to the post entity, it's also will have uh, one too many. One too many with the like entity. Yes. And each and the uh, like should here to get the post for each like, 
just like to the post um, and that and I think that's pretty much it so let's just add the final touches to the module by adding the um, the repository module so this for feature it just just retains the module for the repository of the type of the entity you define so for feature this is why it's the first in the in the first index of the imports we are importing a module here and this module is retained from the this static function and it needs uh, an entity so each module retained is diff is different from other based on the parameters you define you pass uh, I hope this is clear so yeah the like entity so this is the repository like entity the repository of likes you can say <laughs> so now we go to the app module and just add it here. of course if you have a lot of entities this will uh, how you structure your the application will change and you don't need to import all of them like this you can create an aliases for the imports which will make everything more readable uh, yeah that's it would make everything more readable okay and you won't uh, create a folder for each module y you will do that but uh, I think you will combine them so each section of your application will be combined into uh, I think like this for example these uh, five will be put inside a folder called uh, social and maybe another folder called analytics which contains some other modules and stuff like that I think if you I think if you uh, split them as same as you split your schemas uh, your databases inside your columns sorry your tables inside your uh, database schema so this schema for uh, these four tables uh, like this for these uh, other six tables for this schema this is the admin schema the user schema the uh, database administrator schema actually you can define the schema name here in the entities I think here uh, one second uh, here so I think if you add schema yes you can define the schema here you can read about it in the documentation um, okay anyway so I'll just close this no don't save I'll just show you the ER, just one second. Just show me the ER. Mm, did not create it? Why? Should I hit refresh? Yes, ah. Yes, yes, should I, I should have pressed refresh. Okay. Just show me the ER, please. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have the likes. Contains the two foreign keys, the user ID and the post ID. And uh, yeah, so each user has many posts, many comments, many likes. And each one of these three belongs to one user. Okay, and let's go to the likes and go to the properties. Uh, this is uh, I I don't think you can see it, but this is uh, an enum. The type is enum. The default is like. So I, I think this is good. Now I think um, in the next video I'll, I'll make things a little bit more exciting. I think till now it's boring. Uh, and we don't and we didn't go to the one to many uh, sorry to many to many rela relations uh, so I will look into that and uh, maybe uh, I don't think it matters it's, it's really simple I, m I might also add the table to represent uh, one to one relation so I think yeah two, two things left over in the in the entity section 
is defining many to many relations and defining one to one relation and after that uh, after that i might generate a fake data so we can test it and uh, i will create the at the end, not at that end but after the fake data and uh, playing around with the controllers i will create the file upload and the new table it's called uh, maybe media or images um, I think if we finished all of that, it will be a good point to start uh, looking into Swagger to document this API. Maybe after it, we will go to, into WebSockets. So yeah, I think this. Uh, I think if we finished, <laughs> if we reach WebSockets and finish it, uh, we 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 learned a lot about uh, Nest. So, uh, until now, I I like what I uh, learned. Okay, thank you.